no chill. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me why, as soon as I think that things are slowing down, the scene is calm, nothing is gonna happen, no more explosions or any sort of leaks, the unthinkable occurs. Or rather, at this point, not really. Um, back in 2014, a similar thing happened. This one kind of fits the bill in a sense. We have a huge leak, monumental, massive, coming from some random nigga online. As a matter of fact, it comes from this. I know, I know, kids. Yes, a fucking 4chan post, okay? Listen, I don't give a fuck how many of you analytical ass niggas out there want to make it seem that nothing legit happens on 4chan. I'm a believer, nigga. It happens every now and then, okay? Blue Moon status, 4chan is going to have some shit to fuck with you, okay? And the thing that makes this one a little bit weird is that there's a lot of renders here which haven't really been seen elsewhere. Now, some of them don't exactly look top notch. I mean, the, the, the Ken Masters one here, I guess if that is Ken, looks a a little bit ghastly not as ghastly as how we looked in early street fighter 5 though now even though i just revealed one of the characters potentially that could be in this leak um i don't want you guys to get spoiled on account of me being reckless so ahead of ahead of time there's spoilers ahead okay but this is the list right here um a couple of characters here that you'll recognize right away um the big ones that stand out for me are definitely shadow isabelle and then the skull kid as well while this would be difficult to pull off it wouldn't be impossible and we've seen people go to some extreme lengths to get leaks to look as legit as possible so you can't really at this point say that this alone is legit but the way that it looks kind of puts you in mind of prior events that did turn out to be real the big one here is this character at the very top left um people are saying that it's angus from <laughs> bravely default <laughs> this leak itself there's no real information here besides these portraits as to what we're looking at maybe there'll be some stuff that happens in the future but for now this is what we have so what do you guys think yourselves in terms of the validity of these leaks i, th I think the ken one to be fucking real real with you throws off everything why does this nigga's lips look so fucking small like, like i don't i don't know i don't the, the the ratio doesn't match in my opinion isaac here from golden sun i think there's a real big chance that this one is fake i mean it's probably all fake in that case but i mean the, the eyebrows and his hair don't match but i mean it would be a cool character and definitely a huge homage to the game boy advance era of rpgs which was definitely one of the best in my book i mean mainly because game boy advance is kind of all i had um we also have the chorus kids in here too man um that's a choice that I myself had kind of expected only because a lot of people love these characters and they're big in Japan right but hold the phone what if I told you right now that there's a Smash Brothers Ultimate demo out there that someone is leaking for all of us to play later on that'd be kind of dope right well it's not true but Everyone thought it was true at one point. There was some nigga on Reddit named Zipzo6 that posted he had a demo of Smash Ultimate that he was showing shit off, and people kind of jumped to conclusions. You need to start leaking the demo, you know, data mine, and stuff like that. A lot of it was sort of misperceived in a sense because he didn't actually have that intention at all. Turns out he didn't even have the actual demo himself. He was a GameStop employee who wound up playing some of the demo because they've had that demo everywhere, man. Everyone's had their fucking hands on that shit. Because people thought that this was going to be some sort of a leaker, they were expecting him to like put out a bunch of information he didn't, obviously. Unfortunately, he had to delete his social media accounts because he was being harassed by a lot of people, man. Um, the way that this whole thing kind of started out, he had posted a video proving that he had access to the demo by having Snake and Bayonetta on the stage and constantly taunting someone had asked him to do that as some sort of a challenge or whatever to see if he actually had it and it turns out he did but not in the context that we all thought but it was an exciting prospect and i remember reading about it on twitter once again shout out to you alpha rad where he was describing the whole situation and almost losing my shit but unfortunately well i guess i, guess I shouldn't say unfortunately right but fortunately that wasn't the case however we all know that with Nintendo's track record on games and big releases that something's probably gonna leak around the time of the game's launch. So all we have right now are a couple of shittily looking 
fucking character portraits that have a goddamn cell phone picture taken of them and nothing else. I mean, a lot of these characters are kind of ones that we expect, but I don't know, man. They got a couple of hell, uh, kind of. They got a couple of um, curveballs in there with the Agnes inclusion. You know what I'm saying? Or Angus, whatever the fuck. How do I? How do I fucking say her name, man? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. I know it's a great game though. I gotta play it at some point. Anyways, I'll talk to you dudes in the next video slash whatever the fuck may be going on. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.